2062. A dark megalopolis run by corporations and corrupt politicians. Nine-year-old orphan Tina has made the streets her home. She scavenges for a living, reinventing uses for scraps. Her only friend is SAM-53, the big clumsy robot assigned to her at birth. He will do anything to protect her. SAM-53 must protect Tina. One day, Tina and Sam will discover something that may change their world. This is the night before that day. The beginning to an incredible journey. The journey to... Yes, Tina. 11.34 kilometers away. We must take another fly bus to reach our place. Damn. We should find a ticket. It's getting late and very cold out here. You must return to our shelter as soon as possible. Okay, okay. Let's look around. All right. Let's go. It's the fly bus timetable. Looks like time is frozen in Neo Berlin. The fly bus routes. I need to take number 12 to get to my shelter. It's a console for copying data from robots. But it's out of order at the moment. I can't use it. It's out of order. It's SAM-53, my robot. I've had it since I was born. Sam? Yes, Tina. What shall we do now? I think it's better if we go back to our shelter or you'll get a cold. All right, how can we get there? We can walk for two hours and 42 minutes, or we can take fly bus number 12. Can't we take a cab? Neo Berlin taxis are super expensive and don't allow robots. Those racists. Can you take me on your shoulders? My battery won't last long enough. Damn. I guess I'll go with the bus. I think it's the best solution, but we must get a ticket. Hmm, okay. But how? From the Neo Berlin flybus ticket machines. I know that, dummy, but we have no credits. Then I'm afraid we have to walk. Oh, man. I think it's better to find a way to get some money. Sam? Yes, Tina? How old are you? I'm nine years old, like you. I was fabricated a few months before you were born then assigned to you as part of the Neo Berlin Procreation Program. And you are my best friend, right? Well, considering you have none, statistically I'm your best one. Sweet. Sam? Yes, Tina? How do we know we're not in a simulated reality? We can't be 100% sure, but what's the difference anyway? You mean... We can be just point-and-click adventure game characters without even knowing it? Totally. And whoever is clicking might be in a simulation as well. Scary. A cyberspace junkie. He looks fully immersed. Better not to disturb him.
sure. Talking to a ticket machine. Come on. Seems like no one is really using it. Hey, there's a rusty Cybercola cannon here. I don't want to throw anything away. One side advertises a new kind of trendy hat. The other side, a synthetic fish meal. The big corks have an awful taste. I don't like his face. Looks nasty. Hello there. Um, mm hmm. I guess this robot doesn't speak a human language. It's Tina, my human. I must protect her. Tina? Yes? Is everything all right? Yes, Sam, I'm fine. No need to ask me every 20 minutes. Oh, okay. I just wanted to be sure. I had a dream last night. Wow, I didn't know robots could dream. What was it about? Electric sheep. Sounds familiar. Were you counting them? Not really. Humans count them to fall asleep, but dreaming sheep? Sounds weird, doesn't it? Mm hmm. Whatever. I think we should go home. Yes, but I need to figure out how to get on a fly bus. Hmm. First, get some credits, then buy a ticket. Yeah, thank you very much for the precious information. Ugh. The thing is, how can I find money? I'm sure you'll find a way by just looking around and talking with people. Let's go explore then. Okay. I forgot what I wanted to ask. Oh, never mind then. Hello there. Hey, Beefcake. What's up? You look awesome tonight. Aw, thanks. You make me blush. But no free tickets. Sorry. Are you up for dinner on Thursday? Let me check my schedule. No, sorry. Busy standing here, giving out paid tickets. Can I get a free ticket? This little human is freezing out here. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm programmed to dispense tickets only in exchange for credits. Are you sure? Yeah, totally. Really, really sure? I'm afraid so. Really, 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 really sure? Hmm, let me think. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, whatever. Nothing really. I'd better go. All right. Have fun with that stinky human. And come back when you have money. A street cleaner robot. Not made to please humans. Howdy, pal. How are you? Do we know each other? Am I your cousin? Um, no. So leave me alone. And keep your disgusting human away from me. You truly are a nasty robot. Say what? If I move the cursor above you, it says nasty robot. So what? We just have this dumbass developer. I'm sorry they programmed you this way. I'm sorry they programmed you to be with that human all your life. Oh, I actually like my job. Oh, sure. Of course you do. I'm waiting on the robo-revolution to exterminate all organic waste. She's actually pretty cool. A uh, human? Cool? You must have some faulty positron in your brain. Better than to be a lonely pile of junk steel. Hey! Watch your dang old mouth. I'm a successful street sweeper. It must be very exciting to collect trash. Isn't it what you and your human do all day? Uh... Ha-ha! 
I knew it! There you go! Whatever. I don't have time to waste. So why are you bothering me? Do you have any free fly bus tickets? Do I look like a ticket machine? Um, no. But maybe... No, I don't got no free tickets. Now leave me alone. What are you doing here? You mean besides making fun of clumsy family robots? Yes. Well, I can't go nowhere. My damn ram is faulty and I need a daggum new one. So I can go back to my street cleaning job. Then why don't you go get one? Because I'm stuck here. Without enough ram, I can't calculate how to move around this dirty city. I've barely enough capacity to insult fat nanny robots. I'm not fat, I'm just big boned. Sure, sure. Everybody says so. So if I give you new RAM, you can help me? Oh, fine. Something interesting from your mouth. If it doesn't involve changing diapers of stinky humans, I can help. Very good. I'll come back when I have some spare RAM. All right. See you later, Mr. Never Skip Legs Day. My robotic eyes detect a credit card down there. I can't do that. I'd be tampering with public property. There's something there, but my hands are too big for the grid. Ugh, I'm too weak to pull it over. There's something shining down there, but I can't reach it. It seems focused on traffic, but I can't see any car around. Excuse me? Yes. What are you doing here, considering there's nobody around? I'm programmed to handle traffic and prevent car incidents. Yeah, I guess that, but most of the cars are up in the sky. I'm programmed to handle traffic and prevent car incidents. Yes, but really, there's no traffic. I'm programmed to handle traffic and prevent car incidents. The nearest car is 100 meters above us. I'm programmed to handle traffic and prevent car incidents. Are you broken or something? No, I'm working fine. All systems up. No bugs. A great traffic bot. Program to handle traffic and prevent car accidents. Okay, whatever. Since you're probably giving out some tasks, why isn't there an exclamation mark over your head? Hey, this is a point-and-click adventure game, not some Polish RPG. So are you giving me a mission or not? Well, even if I don't have an exclamation mark over my head, there's something that you can help me with. Really? What? Neo Berlin police has reported a very dangerous criminal in this area, and offers a reward to whomever brings evidence of its identity. If I wasn't busy handling traffic, I could do it myself. Tell me more about this criminal. His name is Roscoe Spencer. He is wanted because he publicly offended the mayor of Neo Berlin. There isn't much info about him, other than a vague description of long mustaches, and that he loves Asian food. Hmm, interesting. Tell me more about the reward. Whoever provides evidence will get 10,000 Neo Berlin credits. Awesome! I can buy the fly bus ticket with this money. Actually, you can buy a century subscription with these credits. I'd better find proof of who he is then. Sure, come back to me when you have evidence and I can pay you. Great. Tell me more about the evidence. We need biometric data with which to search in the Oberlin police archive to prove his identity. A fingerprint could do the job. A fingerprint, huh? Yes. So, if I bring you a fingerprint of this criminal, you will pay me? Exactly. But be careful. He is very dangerous. I'd better go look for him. Be good and follow the law.
selling rocket soda. Money. Ugh, I hate that chubby little man. I love octopuses. A neon lamp on the wall. Ugh. I'm too weak to pull it over. It's very dark already. I don't want to turn it off. It's very dark over there, but there may be something interesting. I need to find a light and discover what's there. It's so dark that even my advanced eyes can't see. However, I can barely notice something. We need some sort of light to see better. A lamp securely mounted on the wall. I'm not programmed to damage public property. Pointless thing to do. An ancient scholar called Lombroso would say he looks like a criminal. Hi there. Buzz off, Tin Man! You despicable example of the most vulgar capitalism! Stealing jobs from humans! No space anymore for the working class! Um, uh, okay. I guess he doesn't like robots. Better if Tina talks with him. A paper lamp, very bright. We could make good use of it. I can't steal it. Better to ask the owner if we can take it. Hello? What's up, kid? I hope you have a good reason to interrupt my delicious meal. Nice mustaches. Is it difficult to grow them like that? It's not, but it takes a lot of care. Are you planning to grow a pair, little boy? Yes. Okay, well, first you have to cut them all the time. And as soon as they grow a few millimeters, it'll make them stronger and ready for growing fabulous. Then you must let them grow for at least uh, 42 months, cutting just the tip once in a while. And don't forget to twist them when they're long enough. Then, well, after a few years, they'll look amazing. But, but please, don't use any product on them. Uh, all right, thanks. I'll keep that in mind. You are welcome. <laughs> Anything else? How's the food in here? Oh, I love it. Much better than the chow at the factory canteen. I have to talk with the union. We should strike again, this time for two weeks. Damn those corporations. They don't care about work conditions for humans. Yeah, I hate those big corps. Go ahead. You have all my support. Thank you, kid. We need it. <laughs> Anything else? Do you have any spare bus tickets? Spare bus tickets? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Since that swine of a mayor raised the transportation fee, I'm forced to go around on my grandpa's bike. I don't like Mr. Rumpf. His chubby, nasty face is all around the city. Yes, hoping to get re-elected. <laughs> that pig will never get my vote. Neither mine. I guess you're too young to vote. 
but I like your attitude. <laughs> Anything else? Are you Roscoe Spencer, the criminal? Shush, 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 shush. Be quiet. Neo Berlin police have ears in every corner. <laughs> but, but no, I've never heard of any Roscoe Spencer. Are you sure? You look like him. What? Have they already put around my wanted photo? I, I thought they needed evidence first. I was sure they only had that outrageous internet post about Rumpf. Oh, that sleazy capitalist swine. Hope to see him sink in the mud. Uh, but, 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 but no, sorry. I never heard of Roscoe Spencer. But you just said... No, I'm not him. End of story. <laughs> Anything else? Nothing. I'll leave you alone. Long live Chairman Mao. I'm afraid the owner will cut my hands off if I try to steal it. Better to ask for it politely. Probably the owner and chef of this place. He looks busy cutting fish. Excuse me? What do you want, little guy? Don't you see I'm a busy? Who are you? I'm a chef of Hayao, born in Germany of Japanese origins. Master of noodles, inventor of the Japanese German fusion cuisine. If you were born here, how is it possible you have this thick accent? Accent? What the accent? I speak a perfect English, you little racist. Oh, no offense. I love Far Eastern culture. Just, your accent is funny. I have no accent. Is there anything else you would like to ask me? How much fish do you have in that bucket? It seems bottomless. It's not a bucket. It's the end of a very long pipe. That goes deep underground into a salty artificial lake, sucking up fish. Wow, amazing. Is this for real? Uh, no, I made it up. It's just a ripped animation to save a disk space. What? Never mind. Something else. Busy? I only see one customer. It's because of traffic. Soon this place will be packed. I don't get what people in this city mean by traffic, but, well... Yes! My ramen shop is the most popular in Neobarin. Especially since it's the only one you can visit in this game. But, uh, well... Er, uh, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Anything else? Can I have that paper lamp? Oh, no. I like it so much. It gives this place a stereotypical Asian look. Are you sure? I really need it. I'm pretty sure I like it where it is. Isn't there something I can bring you that has more value than that lamp? Something valuable? Hmm. Yeah, like a rusty can of cyber cola or a broken music player. I don't need any of that. But actually, there's something. I really miss my son, Joe. He hasn't visited me in ages. He spends all his time connected to cyberspace and forgets about me. That's sad. If I had a father, I'd spend all my time with him. Sweet God. But uh, yes, if you could talk to Joe and bring me something, Prove his love. I will give you that shoddy paper lamp. Awesome. Where can I find him? He used to hang around the bus stop, tripping all the time. All right. Well, I'll go talk to Joe and bring something that proves his love. Let's see if you can make it. Great. I'd better go. Gambate, little girl.
a nerdy guy. I like his sweater, though. It reminds me of something. Good evening. Hi there, Dick Bates at your service. But aren't you too young for CPU clocking or dynamic mobo modding? Uh... Looking for a Tesla PCU? Liquid state hyperdrives? Micro PCI ultra low profile? Uh... Nitrogen coolers? Thunder Ethernet? You see to boosters? I guess Sam could handle this dude better than me. Probably the owner of this shop. Excuse me. What can I do for you, robot model SAM? Year of emission 2053, category C, pattern 18. Need a quantum cooling system? Cleaning your Amos eye sensors? I'm Dick Bates, and I'm here to help you. Dick Bates. Don't know why, but it sounds familiar. Not as familiar as Darut Sandstorm. What? Oh, forget it. Anything else I can do for you? An expansion of your AGP slot. A heat sink upgrade. Do you know how to hack a ticket machine? Hey! I'm selling stuff. I'm no hacker. Even if I opted brute force streaming channels to watch Italian football. Hmm. So you cannot help me get a free ticket? No. Neo-Berlin public machines are protected with a third-level firewall. Any attempt to break in will shut down the system, lock the credits, and deactivate ticket dispensing. I guess it's better to find a way to get some money, then. Definitely. Anything else? A reset of your bios? Randomization of the Mobo Jumpers? Is talking like that good for your business? Oh, yes. Geeky nerds love acronyms. Difficult words and light emitting diodes everywhere. By the way, you should get some to install around your body. No, thank you. I don't want to look like a Christmas tree. What can I do for you, then? An update for your firmware? Turbo or Lutoon? I'm getting a headache. Better if I go. All right. See you around. Fine. You could get one for free. Random access memory. All right. I've got a bunch of these. You could take one. A very useful dispenser of robot components. Not for my kind, though. Only street sweeper robots can access it. Ready after you've given all your savings to the game developer. An old woman with some cyber implants and a walking cane. Excuse me. Hello, Model S.A.M. Nice robot you are, aren't you? But my powers do not work with robots, so I'd better talk with your master. All right. I'll tell Tina. Have a nice journey. I feel that you and that little girl will have lots of amazing adventures. An old mysterious lady. Hello, old lady. Hello, cute little girl. How can I help you? 
do you have any spare fly bus tickets? I'm sorry, I don't. I'm scared of flying on those things. When I was young, buses had wheels and bad, smelly seats. <laughs> Good old times. Darn. Looks like it's impossible to get a ticket in this city. I'm sure you'll get a ticket sooner or later. My senses feel it. I truly hope so. You will, you will. Anything else? Do you have any cash? I don't. Business has been going terribly after the mayor raised the taxes. That chubby bastard. I wish he won't be reelected. <sighs> Seems like this isn't my lucky night. Oh, I feel your fortune will change soon. Just keep trying. Sure. I'll look in every corner. Good girl. Anything else? I never understood why this city is full of Asian signs. Well, we live in a multicultural city. German has been replaced by English, and due to the big Asian invasion, not to mention the cool classic cyberpunk aesthetic that the game developer really loves. Far East signs are pretty common in Neo-Berlin. Oh, I see. Cool. Anything else? What are you doing out here? I'm the Fate Mancer. I can tell the future by scanning someone's brain. But business lately is very bad. Nobody cares about the future anymore. They just spend hours connected to cyberspace and forget life. That sucks. And you? Would you like to know your future? Of course, but I don't have any cash. Don't worry, I like you. I can tell your future for free. What would you like to know? Nothing specific. I'm just curious to know what lies ahead. Let me see. Wow. Amazing. Incredible. Hey, move on. I don't have all night. Okay, impatient girl. I see... I see an incredible adventure. Something beyond the realms of human consciousness. An important mission, a task that can forever change the world we live in. A journey through places where no one living has been before. Oh, and you, my little girl, could be the key for a human awakening, for a brand new world. Amazing. But first, you need to find a ticket to get home. And the developer needs to get enough funds through Kickstarter. What? Uh, forget about that last part. But yes, something incredible lies ahead. Cool. Here, take this flyer. There's also my number. Call me if you need anything. Thank you, old lady. I will. And don't forget to tell all your friends to back the Kickstarter. Um, okay. Goodbye. Bye for now. Hey there. Nice helmet you have. What can I do for you? Are you Joe, the son of Heyao? Why are you asking? I was at Heyao's and he told me that his son is off and around here. All right, all right. Yes, I'm Joe. What does my father want? Well, he's really worried about you, and he misses you so much. That crazy cook. I miss him too. 
I can't stand his mad ideas. He wants me to learn how to cook those German-Japanese dishes. But I'm not into that at all. That's why I don't go visit him often. I prefer cyber tripping. It's super cool. Have you tried it? Cyberspace can be very dangerous. I prefer to avoid it. Choice. But I think you should visit Hayao more often. By the way, do you have something I could bring him to prove your love? Something? What for? It'll make him very happy. And I truly need that Asian lamp. Asian lamp? Never mind. So do you have something I can give him? I have a lovely photo of us together that I always carry with me. Great, that'll be perfect. But I'll give it to you only if you do me a favor. Ugh. Here we go again. What favor? Can you bring me a VR headset screen replacement? I have no money. How can I get one? The electronic shop owner loves robot components. Maybe your mechanic friend can help. Good. I'll ask Sam to deal with it. Awesome. Come back when you have a VR screen replacement. And I'll give you the photo. All right. See you soon. Excuse me. What can I do for you, robot model SAM? Year of emission 2053, category C, pattern 18. Need a quantum cooling system? Cleaning your Amos eye sensors? I'm Dick Bates, and I'm here to help you. Do you have a spare headset screen to give me? What kind? CRT model A, 8K dual light, 270 heads around, well, considering Joe's headset, I guess it's a CRT Slim W. Perfect. I've got a couple in my store. They cost 700 credits. Hmm. Can you give it to me for something else than money? <laughs> like what, potatoes? Yes. Not sure if they programmed you with a sense of humor, or if you really want to give me potatoes. The first. Whatever. Anything else? Bags of junk? Oh yeah, I really need more trash around this already messy store. Something you really, really need, and that I can help find for you? Mm-hmm. There's something that is out of stock in all shops in Neo Berlin. A very rare capacitor, P3OC. There may be some in a bot dispenser not far from here. Unfortunately, that dispenser is only for street cleaner robots. Not your kind. But if I bring you the capacitor, you'll give me the headset screen replacement, right? Yes, I will. I truly need that capacitor for, well, reasons. Okay, then. We'd better go and find a way to get it. See you later. And let me know if you need a new control bus or ROM implants. Obsolete gaming and coding devices. Regarding the RAM. Yes? Have you found one? Yes. Here it is. Oh, well, should I say thank you? Because I won't. But I guess I owe you one. What can I do for you? 
I need a P3O-C capacitor from the bot dispenser. But that machine is only for street cleaner robots. Can you help me get one? Hmm, gosh. It is so nice staying here doing nothing. But all right, follow me. I don't want to ruin my reputation because of some chubby family bot. Thank you. We're even now. Hope you won't bother me again. Goodbye. Excuse me. What can I do? Year of a mission. Need a quantum cool. I'm Dick B. About the capacitor. Yes. I found one. Ah, oh, perfect. Exactly what I needed for. Uh, um, can't tell you. You are welcome. Can I have the VR screen replacement now? Of course. Here it is. I'm not sure what you need it for, but you are welcome. Thanks a lot. I'd better go now. See you around. And come back if you need a B.U. Kowski optical drive. Hey there. Nice helmet you have. What can I do for you? What kind of hairspray do you use? Actually none. My dope hair is naturally like this. Or maybe the tons of hours I spend in cyberspace are frying my brain. And electrifying my hair. Ew. I hoped for some cool hairspray. Always wanted to change my hairstyle. I think you were cool with that helmet. Anything else? What happened to your headset? The screen burned out. I was there tripping at this dope rooftop club. Great music. Sexy chicks. Then all of a sudden, everything went black. I need a new screen replacement as soon as possible. Can't stay away from cyberspace too long. I see. It's truly addictive. It is. Anything else I can help you with? About the VR screen replacement. Have you got one? Yes, I have. That's dope. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Here, take this photo of me and my dad. I'm sure it'll make him cry. Perfect. I'll go give it to him. See you later, cool girl. I'll go back tripping. Hopefully those hot chicks are still there. Goodbye. Excuse me. What do you want, little girl? 
Don't you see I'm busy? Regarding your son. Yes? I talked with him and he gave me this. Oh, thank you very much. He loves me then. I'm so happy. I should go talk to him. Together, we can be the best ships of Neobarin. He surely loves you, but I'm not sure he'd like to learn your recipes. Anyway, can I get that lamp now? Yes, now you can. Thanks a lot for your help. You are welcome. And come back if you want some of my delicious dishes. Sure thing. <laughs> Sayonara, little girl. Bye. I can't reach it, but Sam probably can. All this effort for a piece of wire? I hope it's worth it. A cup of hot chocolate I'm keeping warm for Tina. I can't drink it myself. It's for Tina. Thank you, but I'm fine now. Maybe later. Just a very old umbrella to protect Tina from rain. Thank you, but I don't need it. Chopsticks made of plastic, finished to look like wood. In 2062, wood is very rare. Someone still trusts these kind of discs rather than using the cloud. I wonder what happened to the machine to which it was attached. Long enough. Thanks. Thanks. It's an antique music player I found in a dumpster. Apparently, many years ago, people used to listen to songs with it. It sounds old, but I love it. Much better than the contemporary cyber techno track. A photo of Mom. Sadly, she died three years ago of cyberspace overdose. It's a rusty can of Cybercola. Expiration date, 31 March 2061. Almost a year ago. Well, the name says it all. An empty plastic glass. Not gonna drink from it. A daily ratio of meat in a box. Better than sushi. One side has a photo of that old lady with the caption, the Fate Mancer tells you your future with a 42% chance to get it right. The other side is white. A small, still functioning mechanical hand. A very flexible metal wire. Let me tie those up. Got a rod and a line now, but it's still missing something. Let me tie those up. 
Great. I've got a fishing tool now. works. Hooray! I finally got a credit card. A shiny credit card with metallic finishes. Can't do that. Thank you. A standard Neo Berlin credit card. No one uses cash anymore. Wrong decision. Here, take your 883 Neo Berlin credits. Why 883? Wasn't the reward 10,000 Neo Berlin credits? Yes, but looking at your records, 10,000 minus. 2,500 for taking out an underage human at night. 3,000 for scavenging from downstairs. 1,500 for exploitation of robots. 1,000 for talking with strangers. And 1,117 for picking up unauthorized objects. Total transfer, 883 credits. Oops, at least they are enough to buy many fly bus tickets. I'd better take Tina home. Be good and follow the law. spend my money for that. any credits. Please select your ticket. You don't have enough credits. Thank you. Have a nice journey. It's time to take Tina home. Go home. Home sweet home. We finally made it. I think you should sleep now. You've been awake for 18 hours and 43 minutes. All right, all right. I feel exhausted. But first, let me say something to the people out there. This long night is over, as well as the demo of Encodia. Congratulations for completing it. Tomorrow, an amazing adventure awaits. 
but the developer needs your help to finish the game. So, if you enjoyed this demo and you would like to play more, please consider a PayPal donation or a Kickstarter contribution. Just Google Encodia and you'll find all of our pages. We truly count on you. Spread the word about Encodia out there. And see you soon. Mm, maybe. What? Well, taking into consideration the average Kickstarter donation, the fact that users enjoy playing a free demo but not spending money, and adding as a factor that it's an indie game in a narrow subgenre setting, I estimate there's a 67% chance of success. Not to mention, this is a...